Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Virgo, Spirit has something important they want to share with you today, which is going to come through all of these cards. What I'm going to do for you is open your reading with an Animal Spirit card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Alki Oracle deck. So in my morning meditation, I was actually called to pull this deck for you today. It's a Spirit Warrior deck. So I'm super excited to bring you a message from this card. And then to close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today, Virgo. So we are getting for you, my friends, dolphin. Have any of you seen a dolphin? This is coming in as a confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the message here is find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and just go with a flow. So once again, find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and just go with the flow. So look at that. It's time for you to enjoy life. Virgo, little bits and pieces of joy in your day are always good. So find those little bits and pieces of joy and excitement. So we are getting here high priestess, Virgo. Look at this. We have something that is being revealed, something that is coming forward. You're feeling this energy for sure because I'm feeling it within you as I'm filming this reading. There's something that is unfolding, something that is tied to spirituality. I do feel this is a spiritual experience for some of you, but whatever is happening, everything is connected and you're seeing the connection um, everything that is happening here. So I do feel there's a synchronicity that is taking place in your life. Now, the High Priestess is a major arcana card, so this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it's in the background. So some of you might feel this energy intensely, while others, you're gonna feel this subtly. All right, so the High Priestess, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. So with these two cards combined, this is letting me know that there's a manifestation that is taking place. Some of you are in alignment with your desires. You're at the right frequency uh, vibration of abundance. Okay, so a lot is happening here. You're in that orbit of abundance here, everyone. You are in the center and we've got a lot of beautiful things that are whirling around you. So the Ten of Pentacles energy here for you. And we also have the Three of Cups, aligning yourself to energies that uplift you, surrounding yourself with people who uplift your energy here. Very important that you understand what you're surrounded by, Virgo. So the Three of Cups here. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this will strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Three of Cups here. I love this. So there's a big expansion happening in your life. This is what I'm seeing here with these cards. And you are spiritually growing here, Virgo. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Virgo. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. So we've got the high priestess here. Now, those of you that are seeing the numbers 11, uh, 10 and 3. This is coming in as a confirmation that there's definitely something in this reading for you, but also the combination of these numbers, 2, 1, 0, 3 in that sequence is coming up. Also 11, 10 and 3 put together as well. Okay, so confirmations coming in through angel numbers for some of you. Um, 
the high priestess so we've got this beautiful merging of energies this is your subconscious conscious mind but this also has to do with information and knowledge from a higher power uh, from another realm so i'm getting a synchronicity of energies coming in whirling around within you so there's definitely an elevation in your spiritual growth here some of you are feeling like you're going through another awakening um, this is on a different level than what you had experienced in your past awakening so i feel there's a lot of growth that is happening here a lot of understanding coming to terms with things um, acknowledging some things and changing others because of the information and knowledge that you're coming into now signs are all around you here virgo okay some of you have been seeing signs around you this is spirit letting you know that you're synchronized that you're connected right so those of you that are seeing a lot of ones a lot of numbers birds and animals you're surrounded by nature and you're just seeing some of these signs it's just a confirmation that you are connected some signs come in more than others. So you might see a specific animal or a number that's repeating itself over and over to you. Those are now messages coming in specifically to connect with you and to give you guidance. Okay, so pay attention to everything that is coming into your life right now. Everything that you're experiencing, right? Spirit, spirit is asking you to look at things from a spiritual perspective. Okay, because there are some things that aren't making sense and they might not make sense as a physical reality experience that makes more sense that it's coming from a more spiritual perspective and the way that you show up in the world I talk about this a lot I do feel that it's really important that you understand how you're showing up in the world right um, how are you choosing to interact with the energies that you're moving through how you're choosing to put your own energy out there and what it is that you're surrounding yourself with right really important to understand that we have a lot of distractions in our lives right we live in a world of chaos and I feel it's always been like this it's just some of us have to learn to work with the energies that we're surrounded with so there's almost like this um uh, understanding and knowing of or acknowledgement of okay this is where I'm at in my life right now and I'm the one that has the power to actually change it into something that I do desire so I feel there's this revealing of the power within you and this is being either reflected to you some way like through a person or it's being shown to you through some sort of um, media I feel like or a, a social media platform perhaps you're following someone that is inspiring you right now Virgo or um, there's someone that you're speaking to that is giving you motivation motivation and inspiration but there's definitely something there that is uplifting your energy right now that may be hidden um, the other thing you want to now there's there's a lot of beautiful things that are happening here for you Virgo I don't feel that you know those of you that are feeling like you're not experiencing this energy it's all about getting into that frequency and vibration of what it is that you desire that version of yourself right and whenever I used to hear that when someone used to say you have to be in that right vibration and frequency I'm like what does that even mean it means that the version of you that you're seeing in your desired reality you have to become that version of you now so the things that you're doing now that are not in alignment with where you would like to be all of that has to change right so the change that you're seeking you have to create it within yourself so there's definitely a spotlight on some of the things that are happening with you internally and the things that you're doing externally that are create it's almost like um how do I explain this it's so hard to explain but it's almost um where it, things are being reflected back to you everything begins with you and where you are here inside of yourself is what you're seeing in your reality and you and it all has to do with frequency and vibration everyone we have to put ourselves in alignment so for example I'm going to use myself an as an example I'm trying to get to this point where I'm really healthy I'm in physical sh good shape right I'm visualizing myself as that person but my frequency is still unfit for that because I'm still eating some of the things that I usually eat uh, sometimes I make up excuses not to go to Pilates class you know sometimes it's raining outside and that's an excuse like there you know and I'm starting to recognize this within myself and I say you know what it's okay to feel the emotions and the things um, that are kind of keeping you away that's your old version trying to keep yourself in that comfortable space 
but that new version of you that requires you to not give in to some of these things. So what I usually do is I set so set those emotions aside. If I'm feeling a certain way, it's like, okay, I'm feeling that way, but I'm still not going to stop myself from doing this thing, right? So it's all about put, taking those blocks and just kind of setting them aside, saying, okay, I know you're there, but you're not going to have power over me today and doing the thing that you're meant to do to um, get into that frequency and vibration. So this is what's happening here with the High Priestess card. You're being put into alignment and the Priestess card is um, number two in the Major Arcana deck. I always see the number 11 in Ro Roman numerology, right? It's just the one ones. It always, it's alignment. It's awakening. It's, it's, it's this realization of the synchronicities and the frequency and vibrations, right? So a spirit is actually showing you what you need to do and maybe you're getting in your own way if it's not happening for you or you're not seeing yourself in that position that you would like to be. And I know, I know that can sometimes sound harsh, but in my own life's experience, I've always found that it was always me. Uh, I was the one that was holding myself back from uh, living that desired experience. Now, you are surrounded by abundance, Virgo. There is so much that the universe is already bringing into your life. And it's all about shifting the way that you look at your life, shifting the perspective, the, pers you know, the way that you perceive things. Again, it goes back to how you show up in the world, how you choose to interact with the energies, how you choose to see yourself in the experience, right? Um, you have to be an active participant in creating your desired reality. And what's happening here is everything is there. Everything is in your orbit. It's floating around waiting for you to claim it. This is abundance. This is love. This is wealth. This is your material reality. Everything is meant for you. You're aligned to it, right? You're deserving and worthy of it. This is everyone's birthright. And what's happening is you're now moving up to this higher frequency and vibration that is allowing you to experience this. Now, some of you are already at this level. You're in this energy. You're going to have to share with us what it is that you do to keep yourself in this energy, to keep yourself aligned to this abundance. This is where you have it all, Virgo. Some of you have this vision in your mind already. I always talk about visualizing things, right? Visualizing your desires, experiencing it, but you also have to take the action, the necessary steps without that action, that that uh, imagination stays in that imagination. So there's an energy that comes through us that pushes us outward where we take the necessary action. So it comes in from a thought that creates an emotion, an emotion that creates an action, right? So I feel sometimes we have a little miscommunication that happens from this thought coming down to the emotion and then taking the action. Sometimes our emotions can get in the way because depending on what our life's experience has been. Maybe we have a lot of fear, a lot of doubt in our mind. Maybe we just don't allow ourselves to take the action because these feelings or these things in our, even our thoughts um, are so overwhelming that they debilitate us from taking that step or that action to create this thing. Or we go about it the wrong way because of what it is that we're feeling, right? So it's all about getting out of our own way. And right now, you are in alignment to mega, mega abundance here, everyone. Abundance of money, those of you that are seeking money. Abundance to uh, really deep connections. There's an abundance of so many different things that are already surrounding you. So Spirit is wanting you to get into alignment with that abundance. Also to wear that lens of abundance, of prosperity, of growth. Anytime we experience something that is low vibration or, or challenging for us, if we allow that experience to define us, to knock us down, then I feel we have a harder time. You know, it's not that we have a harder time. Yes, some of us have a harder time getting up, but I've been knocked down. A lot of us do get knocked down when we experience something, but it's all about getting back up getting back up and moving forward, right? So Spirit is wanting you to keep your eye on the prize here, everyone, and don't allow things that aren't in alignment with your desires to get in the way of you actually receiving this because you are so close. Spirit is saying you are so close of having it all, Virgo. Okay, you are so close. So what I'm getting here is maybe there's something that has come into your life that feels like it might be in the way and spirit is wanting you to actually look at that and see it from a different angle 
Um, lean on support. Ask others for support. Um, I'm getting someone that needs advice. So ask your friends, loved ones for advice. Surround yourselves with the right kind of people that uplift your energy. If you're finding that your energy is drained because you're hanging out with someone that's constantly complaining, um, they always have problems and they're always telling you about it. it it's their energy. So what I'm getting here is there's somebody here in the picture that has created their own reality by giving so much energy to this lower vibrational energy by repeating things, talking about it over and over and reliving that experience by sharing it with others over and over again. And maybe you don't like this and perhaps this is dragging your energy down. So again, align yourselves to the kind of people that uplift your energy. If you're finding that you're being drained, maybe limit the amount of energy that you give to this person. You're meant to actually expand. You are expanding. You are growing. You are elevating to a higher frequency, higher vibration that is tied to the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo. And it's very important that you understand what it is that you're surrounded by, um, the kind of people that you interact with, you give your energy to. I know sometimes it's hard when we're dealing with family or people that have been in our lives, but your surroundings count. Your environment counts here to elevate your energy. So if you're somebody that has been uh, really going, getting into personal development, you're learning about law of attraction, um, you're trying to better yourself, but you're in that same environment and you're doing the same thing and it's just not going to change. You have to change some of the things in your life in order to change what it is that you're meant to experience. If you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep experiencing the same thing, right? So you have to switch things up here. Um, there's a lot of creative energy here as well. So I'm seeing some of you out there really getting on creative endeavors, like you're starting a business, something creative. Maybe this is to do with your hands. Perhaps you're working with your hands, designing things. I'm getting an apprenticeship, apprenticeship. Uh, a solar solopreneur. Uh, I'm seeing some of you on stage as well speaking. So uh, lots of different ways that this energy can come in. And what I'm getting here is some of you are really gifted Virgo. You're meant to use your gift. You're meant to strengthen them. And this is coming from a place of uh, the true you. Like they're wanting you to be just you. And you being you will repel the wrong people uh, and attract the right ones is what they're saying here. If you just be yourself. Um, sometimes we wear many different masks with the kind of people that we hang out with, the kind of experiences that we go through. That's natural, right? But I feel that there's something different here happening. I don't know what this mask is that's coming in, but that's definitely popping up here. Maybe you don't feel like yourself around a certain person or a group of people right? Maybe this is coming up. So they're wanting you to just be yourself anyways, because when you be yourself, then it just, life feels easier. It feels tougher at first because when you become your true self, then you have to deal with the adjustment period of things falling away that aren't in alignment with that version of you. So allow those things to fall away and the right things will come into alignment for you. Okay. Networking. I know I mentioned this quite a bit anytime I get the three of cups, but it's very important that those of you that are in business network to get yourself out there, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, right? And enjoy yourself because I feel through connections, you're going to really expand in your world uh, through good rapport with people as well. This is um, branding. Some of you are trying to get your brand out there. You're going to have brand recognition. Um, putting minds together here. So working with groups of people, being in group setting is also going to be beneficial for you, Virgo, right now. Um, but also invitations are things that are um, in alignment with what you're trying to do, especially if you're able to attend a workshop, some sort of an event that is aligned to what you're trying to do to attend these events because you just never know who you might meet and what door might open. Everything is expanding for you right now. So spirit needs you to actively participate in this expansion for yourself. Okay. And enjoy moments of laughter and joy in your life throughout this whole thing. And you know what? I really feel that some of you are experiencing abundance. Some of you are experiencing love. Just it's surrounding you. You're feeling connected. You're seeing all of the signs around you. You're living your best life. You're not letting anything 
uh, ruin your day here. And we have to wake up every day to actually do this, to be in that energy, to choose to not let things get the best of us, right? So let's go ahead and pull a bonus card from the Elki Oracle deck. So what more is it that Spirit wants to share with you? And this was the deck that I uh, pulled through my meditation for you today that Spirit called me to um, use today. So let's see what it is that we're getting here. Makita. Um, any of you have the name Makita or know a Makita in your life? This is coming in as a confirmation. I love her headdress. Whatever it is that she's wearing on her head. She who sees, observe, perceive, scrutinize. Okay, these are the keywords on this card. So let's go ahead and read you the interpretation in the guidebook here. So um, Makita. All right, where are you, Makita? Here she is. So Makita, she who sees, views the world with a keen eye. She wears a gold mask, which serves as her other eyes when necessary. And that's the high priestess, by the way, the other eyes. So there are moments when she will show her true self to the world. There are other times when the masks must be slipped down over her eyes. There's that mask coming through. This protects her from the scrutiny of others while allowing her to inspect what is before her. Her duty is to observe rather than judge. She pays attention to patterns so she can report them as needed. Makita is the Tagalog word for see. So even her name reminds her of what she must do. The message of this card is to take time to scope things out, Virgo. This is a moment where you need to get the lay of the land. You may need to distinguish between what is real and what wants to be real. Your inner landscape must be surveyed as well. What can you see when you wait? Take no action now other than examining all the players and all the facts. Once you understand the game plan of others, you can begin to determine what your next best step might be. So look at that. What a powerful card for you today, Virgo. So let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So we are getting opportunities. Look at that. You are surrounded by opportunities right now, Virgo, look at that 60, 60. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is your confirmation of this message today. So we are getting, uh, you are getting help from above Virgo. It's time for you to start taking steps, making life changes here, starting fresh, know that you're under divine support. All right, so look at that. Hey everyone, I just wanted to mention that we have a new collection of Magic Intention candles. These are Golden Luster. They're made by my sister-in-law, Katomi. There is a limited supply of these, everyone. They are available right now. These are perfect for Christmas or a birthday gift, or even for yourself to set intentions during the full moon or any time that you want. Grab these while they're still available. I've got links to these in the description box below. This is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.